Hey YouTube, Sign here, back with another video. And for today's topic, it was a question I seen floating around asking about if it's worth grabbing to Ellen's W engine or not, and if not, should you grab her talents instead? If you don't know what talents are, they are similar to Genshin Impact's Constellation system and Honkai Star Rail Eidolon system that gives additional abilities to your characters when you use duplicate copies to unlock them. Since this game is still very new, I wanted to cover this, but before we get started, if you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And if you're still wondering if you should pull for Elden or not, I have another video here which will cover that topic for you. Now back to the video. Let's talk about actually how the W engine banner works. First off, there are two rate up A rank W engines. These are generally going to be ones that best support the A rank characters who are rate up on the character banner. So these will be great for Shukaku and Anton. Funny enough, if you look very closely, you may notice these W engines also tend to have characteristics based on the character they're supposed to be paired up with. As for the 5 star, there will be only one rate up W engine which you will have a guaranteed pull chance for once you hit 80 pulls. But just like previous Hoyaverse games, the pull percentage scales upwards the closer you get to 80, so it's very likely you will get it before then. Sadly, just like previous Hoyaverse games, the pulls isn't guaranteed but only a 75% chance of getting the rate up W engine with a 25% chance of getting one of the other five star banner W engines. So it's something you should always consider so you don't get completely demoralized if you happen to get very unlucky. Now for our first A rank rate up, we have Bashful Demon, which gives a main stat boost for attack percent and increases the user's ice damage and when using an EX special attack increases all squad members attack for 12 seconds and stacks up to 4 times with each stack refreshing the duration. This is great for Shukaku who is a support with buffs that scale based on her attack but I wouldn't say it's a must pull simply because you can use something like slice of time which also gives an attack percent main stat boost but its passive is more focused on decibel gained and energy generation. Two things which is also great for the team. So this W engine wouldn't be a must pull. Next up we have Drill Rigs, which gives a main stat boost for critical damage and when you use a EX special attack, any electrical damage from basic attack and dash attack is increased for 10 seconds and the effect can only trigger once every 15 seconds. So you end up doing a rotation of EX special into basic attack and dash attack and repeat this every 15 seconds for maximum damage. When looking at other W engine options, our next best pick will be something like Cannon Rotor, which will give a boost to your critical rate main stat and gives additional passive boost to critical rate and any attack that lands a critical on the enemy will deal additional damage equal to 275% of your attack, which can be triggered every 6 to 8 seconds. Not too bad and makes Anton's A rank not a must pull either. Therefore, if you are pulling on Ellen's W engine banner, your only real major win will be coming from her W engine. Now keep in mind, it's totally possible you don't grab these other A rank W engines that I've mentioned in your free pulls as this just comes up to RNG. You need to consider how important that is to you. But when looking at Ellen's W engine, Deep Sea Visitor, it comes with a main stat boost for critical rate and increases ice damage percent. And when you deal ice damage via either your dash attack or dodge counter, her critical rate will be boosted further for 8 seconds. This is actually pretty strong, and when looking at other viable options for Ellen, it becomes even more apparent at how big the gap is as our second best option would once again be Cannon Rotor. This is just the typical issue you see where the amount of options aren't too great early on, which leads these to be stronger than they would normally be in let's say 4-5 to five months from now. 
Now we return back to the question, should you pull for her W engine? Honestly speaking, Cannon Rotor will be plenty strong for majority of people. So for them, no. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, and here's why I think so. We have another ice attack character who we know will be coming sometime in the near future, and her name is Mia B. We don't exactly know what her W engine entails, but there's always a chance it might end up being a better fit for Ellen and her. Let's just say it does something like increased special attack damage and gives additional energy. I would prefer that more than what we currently have. So you will be taking that risk if you roll for her W engine. For those who are trying to maximize their enjoyment for the short term and believe they are lucky enough to hit that 75%, I would say yes. Then you get to avoid the headache of praying you get cannon rotor early on and don't have to waste material leveling up mediocre W engines and you can just focus on other things with that energy. This also includes the people who are planning on playing for the honeymoon phase of the gacha game and plan on dropping it later down the line. Now let's say you are on team skip and now you're wondering if talent should be your next play. Let's go look at her first talent which is Glacial Omen and will give Ellen more free charges when she uses each version of her dash attack. Her uncharged dash attack will go from 1 stack to 3 stacks gained while her charged dash attack will go from 3 to 6. This is a massive quality of life and trust me, I play this girl a ton. You don't know how many times I've gotten bopped while charging too long or just didn't kill fast enough. I spent forever gaining stacks. Secondly, each stack you spend will increase Ellen's critical rate by 2% for 15 seconds and it stacks up to 6 times so you can hit a full 12% if done in time. But keep in mind, each stack does not reset the timer. So a massive quality of life or bigger damage boost. Honestly speaking, if you don't like her charge mechanics, I would have just said don't roll for her being completely honest. While this is a massive quality of life boost and will boost your DPS, I don't think it's personally required for her to play at all and it's something you would solely do for personal ego boosting, but if that's the case, I would highly recommend going for her talent too as that's a way bigger damage boosting ability, but hey, that's just my recommendation. There are going to be plenty of chances when she returns if you truly want to grab more copies of her. If it comes to just clearing content, the issue won't be because you didn't have talent one, it would simply be because you didn't play well enough, so keep that in mind. Anyways, just for a quick recap, her W engine while very strong, it's not needed. Should you get the A rank mentioned? And pulling on the banner is only recommended for short term players who don't see them enjoying this game for the long term and just here for the honeymoon phase. W engine versus talent just comes to skill issues mainly. If you feel managing her stacks is too hard with her charges, you can grab it, but you can always just practice and understand boss options to make up for that skill issue. Let me know what you plan on doing in the comments down below, and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. My Ellen Guide video will be releasing the day the game comes out, so don't forget to come back to the channel if you do plan on getting her where I will explain every little detail I know about her.